All right, just doing a little test here. I got the, uh, I'm using the uh, 1500 milliamp 11.1 .1 volt uh, LiPo battery. It's connected to the uh, ESC and it's connected directly to the motor there. And without any switches, I got it right to the uh, to the receiver there. And I got the remote here. Uh, when you order this particular model, this is the um, this one here. There's the motor. If I scroll down here, then it comes with the the ESC that's showing right there, and it tells you here it is right there. It. The 40 amp ESC, and um, you have to program this ESC, and it comes with it, or it doesn't come with it, but you, you can download the instructions, and you have to s calibrate this ESC. So the Skywalker FPV plane. Um, it's a push plane. It's not like a pull like your standard uh, airplane where you know your propeller is on the front. This one goes on the back, and the motor comes already reversed for you if you buy that that motor there. So I calibrated it, and the stick was backwards on the remote here, and this is your Futaba uh, seven channel. Then it's very easy to do. You just gotta go right here to throttle reverse. So just follow the simple instructions and it works. So now the stick is in the down position, which is off. If you power up, it you know, powers up the motor. So um, I didn't realize that. So I actually, when I programmed or actually turned it on, it was completely backwards. And I wasn't expecting, you know, this thing to be full throttle at the minimum stick position on the on the receiver. Um, common sense should have told me that, you know, that's the way it's going to work, but didn't think about it. So, so here's the motor. I'll power it up so you can see it. And this is a 6x9 prop here, plastic prop designed specifically for electric planes. So let's power up. That's about half throttle right there. About three quarter. put this little prop on this foam plane here and you power it up the whole way and this little this guy is gonna scoot right along so but um, today I went actually bought a bigger battery also um, I got the uh, the 14.8 volt and this is 500 or actually five or um, yeah 5,000 milliamp hours so um, definitely gonna increase the range on the plane, uh, which is what I'm going for. And I'll take this battery that I have here. Um, that'll power the the equipment, the uh, video equipment. So now I'm gonna hook up the other battery. Um, you know, I don't have an on-off switch on this here, so. It's very important before you turn this on is that you have your 
your uh, control on and you have it in the low off position so you know you don't want this thing to fire up when your hands are right there so. then it runs through self-test to ensure that um, the settings on your remote and everything is correctly so now we'll just throttle up here oh, that wasn't good That's pretty cool. Um, that is actually a pretty good test because what happened there was the uh, propeller came loose and it uh, recognized it. So, unplug this guy for safety. You know, you would think that the uh, the uh, screw on the prop there would be reversed um, you know if the motor is going the other way then as it's spinning the nut is actually working against itself at it spins but in this case um, I'm gonna have to figure out how to really torque that on there so you can definitely tell the battery has more power Just barely, just right under half throttle there. Okay. That's getting up to three quarter. I don't know about putting on full. You can see that the that's going to be an issue, um, especially up there flying. So. I'm gonna have to figure out how to lock this thing down. As you can see, it's just a compression and the, the screwing of this locks it on. Um, the only problem is there's nothing on this end here to hold it while you screw, the, you know, you screw this down. It's kind of like a bit on a router if you ever use a handheld router how that squeezes on there so um, definitely have to lock this down very tight on there so a uh, lesson learned if you're uh, getting into this um, let me uh, pave the way for you and figure out how to uh, save you some money so Hope you enjoy the videos.